Hey peeps, this is Andercon. Today we're going to be building a couple energy storage devices. Uh, we're going to be building an MFE and an MFSU. So to start, we'll build an, MF, uh, an MFE. They're kind of expensive to build, but not too bad. You're going to need four industrial diamonds or regular diamonds, 32 redstone, eight refined iron, and four copper cables. So you'll take your diamonds, put them in the center, uh, and surround them with redstone. Uh, this will make an energy crystal. Energy crystals store 100,000 units of energy and can be used like a battery. So you're going to also need a refined iron block or a machine block. So surround that with your energy crystals and four copper cables. And there's your an MFE. So with an MFE, it'll uh, output 128 uh, energy units a tick. However, if you connect that much energy right up to one of these simple machines or a bat box, they'll explode. So you'll have to step down the energy a bit. To step down the voltage, you'll need a low voltage transformer. To build those, you'll need three copper. Uh, three copper cables, no, two copper cables, and a piece of wood. Convert the uh, wood to four wooden planks. Put those in the corner. Put the copper cables on the top and bottom, and the three copper in the center. That'll give you a low voltage transformer. To use the MFE, you'll need to uh, hook it up to your low voltage transformer, and it can't accept uh, copper cables, it'll, it'll just burn them up so you'll have to use a better cable. So we're going to make some gold cable. You'll need one gold ingot and some rubber. Surround your gold ingot with rubber and you'll get four insulated gold cables. You can further insulate these just by adding uh, a piece of rubber beside it. And this this will give you two, uh, 2x insulated gold cables. Uh, the difference between the regular insulated gold cable and the 2x insulated gold cable is how much energy you'll lose uh, over a little cable run. The more insulated it is, the less energy you'll lose. So you'll put down your MFE and some, a little bit of cable, and then you'll want your low voltage transformer. Now notice the output face of the MFE has a dot on it. The input face of the low voltage transformer has three, dotted, three dots on it. So we've got our MFE finished and it stores 600,000 units of energy. But say we need a lot more. I want some more energy than that just sitting around so I can use it up with something more advanced. So you'll, you'll need an MFSU. Uh, MFS, MFSU stores 10 million units of energy, but it is expensive. You'll need the MFE, and then you'll, then you'll need to upgrade it. So you'll need six industrial diamonds, uh, 64 redstone, and another 14, and the same with the copper cable. And you'll need two lapis lazuli, two glowstone dust, 16 coal, 27 refined iron, nine copper dust, and nine tin dust. Well, to start, we're going to make Lapatron crystals. Take your six industrial diamonds and uh, surround them with redstone. This will give you energy crystals, and you'll have to further upgrade those to Lapatron crystals. In order to do that, you're going to need a bunch of circuits. You'll need 12. So uh, take 12 refined iron and some redstone on each side and a bunch of these cables. And you'll have to spread these around a bit. And uh, then you'll get your electronic circuits. You'll need to cut this in half, this little stack, and put six at the top, six at the bottom. Your energy crystal in the middle, 
and your lapis lazuli on the left and side, uh, left and right sides. And you'll need a lot more than I originally said. So I'm going to pick up a couple stacks of those. There we go. There's you a Lapatron crystal. These things store 1 million units of energy in them if you wanted to use them for batteries and such. Though I don't know if you can uh, recharge regular equipment with this, but you can recharge um, tier 3 armor. So next we're going to make an advanced circuit. So you'll need to make one regular circuit for that. Put that back in the center. Then you'll need two lapis lazuli on the left and right sides. Two glowstone dust, one at the top, one at the bottom. And uh, four redstone. And there's your advanced circuit. Next, you're going to need to make uh, some um, bronze dust. You'll need to have your three copper dust, uh, three sets of three copper dust, and then three tin on the right, well, any corner actually, you can put this anywhere. And it'll give you two bronze dust per set, so you'll need a total of six. And you'll want to go ahead and fire that up. And you'll need to uh, take the rest, of the rest of the six tin dust and go ahead and burn it too. Now, what we're making with this is uh, an advanced machine block. Also, while we're waiting, you also need to macerate your coal. Alrighty. Now you'll need to take your six bronze And put them in the middle like so. And then do the same with refined iron at the top and ten at the bottom. This will give you uh, two mixed metal ingots per set. You'll need a total of four. Hmm. Actually, you only need two of these. I accidentally made too much. But these will uh, these will come in handy later for when you build a nuclear reactor. And this will give you a uh, advanced alloy when you compress it. Next you'll be needing your coal dust, and it's taken a while. I'll go ahead and uh, compress these mixed metal ingots for later. And uh, you'll need to make a refined iron block, or a machine block. Alright, finally my coal dust is done, and you'll need to put it in your crafting bench, like so. This will give you raw ca carbon fiber. You'll be needing four of these. Put those back in the crafting bench like so. And this will give you raw carbon meshes. You'll need two of those. And you'll need to compress those. I'll go ahead and put away these spare advanced alloys. Now one thing with uh, a lot of the advanced machines when they have a huge amount of stuff that you need to build for them uh, is getting the recipe right. Especially if you, you know, get all your materials beforehand, it's really easy to mess up. So when I go building a nuclear reactor, expect some screw-ups. So 
you got your two carbon plates and you'll put those on the left and right side and uh, there's your advanced alloys top and bottom machine block in the middle and you'll get an advanced machine block and you've got all the pieces now to, me, uh, to make your MFSU you'll have to put your MFE in the middle machine block at the bottom advanced circuit at the top and then uh, fill in the rest with your Lapatron crystals this will give you an MFSU so to use the MFSU it's got an output face like that all these here are the input faces uh, it will output 512 units uh, of energy a tick it stores 10 million energy units now if you hook this straight up to an MFE it'll actually blow up the MFE because the MFE can only accept 112 energy units a tick so you have to step down the voltage again so you'll need to make a medium voltage transformer you'll need a refined iron and two copper cable it's quite an easy recipe make a machine block and uh, put the copper cables on the top and bottom this will give you the medium voltage transformer uh, also you can't hook it up with gold cable or copper cable it'll burn up the cable so you'll have to make uh, something a bit stronger you'll need some refined iron for that and this will give you insulated high voltage cable if you uh, surround it with a little bit of rubber and you can upgrade that a little bit if you want here is a 2x insulated high voltage cable and here's a 4x insulated high voltage cable now the 4x insulated high voltage cable can actually uh, take more than 512 units a tick it'll take up to 2,024,48 I think it's 2,048 energy units so we're going to drop that in from the MFE or MFSU and it is quite thick and then you will need your medium voltage transmitter and I want to step this down to lower voltage so uh, we'll need some golden cable and then your low voltage transmitter now with the low voltage transmitter you can hook that up to all the uh, other machines all these uh, low voltage machines now the MFSU transmits at 512 energy units a tick and you don't have to worry about energy loss on such a short cable run uh, these large cables will actually um, lose one unit of energy per packet uh, for every cable and a quarter so just add them up and since it's only one cable it probably won't lose anything so now what you're thinking is this will transmit 512 energy units a tick but it'll end up being 32 energy units a tick and you'll lose almost the entire thing but you won't because it works with packets uh, this will transmit 512 energy, uh, energy units in one packet this will split it up into four units of 128 and then send it to this and then it'll uh, split it up further until it's got a whole bunch of energy units uh, a whole bunch of packets of 32 and it'll send it out to whatever needs it alright so I hooked up the whole set to my uh, energy grid and it'll power all my machines now I uh, went ahead and put on a geothermal generator on the top just to see just to make sure it was working so here's my MFSU and it's a uh, receiving and transmitting power and I got it all hook, hooked up right because nothing burnt or exploded so there's my medium voltage uh, transformer and here's my low voltage transformer and it's uh, sending power to a couple bat boxes I nearly forgot to mention you can actually turn off your MFSU by sticking a uh, either some redstone or one of these things on it so you see if it's it's transmitting right now because it'll go down flip the switch and it'll just uh, absorb the energy and not put any out so now with all this done uh, a bit later I'm going to make a nuclear reactor and hook it up to the MFSU 
I'm gonna put it upstairs. And I got a little spot ready for it already. So, enjoy me next time, and uh, maybe I'll be making something horribly dangerous. See you later.